This is the Model 726 bench fixture, and it consists of a stationary wire holder, which is used to hold one of the weldments. It's clamped into place with this clamp, and we have a couple of uh, X and Y axis adjustments. On the other side, we have a movable wire holder, which is mounted on a couple of solenoids, and that brings the weldments together during the weld. On the movable side, we have a gap control knob, which sets the, the amount that the weldment retracts during the initiation of the weld. And then we also have an adjustment to bring the two weldment materials together once they're aligned prior to initiation of the weld. And this lever is the actual initiation lever, which allows the weldment to retract, and then it triggers the weld process. All right, we're going to weld together a 20 thousandths uh, steel pin, which we're going to place in the stationary wire holder. Clamp it down. We're going to weld that onto a 28 gauge stranded copper wire, which we're going to put in the, the movable wire holder. We align them. Once we have the X and the Y aligned, then we bring them together to make a zero reference point to the weld. We set a gap. Here. And now the, uh, the setup is complete and we're ready to make the weld. Let's take a closer look. When the lever is pressed, the weldments move apart the distance the user sets with the gap control knob. As the lever is pressed further, current flows through the wire and creates an arc in the gap between the wires. The weldments heat up and melt together. This whole process only takes anywhere from 0.5 to 2 milliseconds.